Welcome. <laughs> We've been dying to show you how we make this Halloween porch cleaner. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build and make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're back at it with some more spooktacular fun for that front porch. <laughs> some more <Wow>. Halloween decor. <laughs> Gotta... Yeah. Gotta pump it up. Yeah, can't have those candy cauldrons standing there all by themselves. Yeah, they they <laughs> definitely need some more pop and maybe some more fright. So we're making a six foot tall coffin. It's like a front porch de-welcome sign, unwelcome sign, <laughs> anti-welcome sign. It says we're dying to meet you, so well, I think it's a welcome sign. I don't think people really want to approach a sign that says something like that, so. <laughs> and we're going to add some little accents to it. Garrett's found himself a speaker box that, box that makes spooky sounds, so we will see what that ends up looking like. Oh, it is scary. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed six six foot fence pickets, the dog-eared kind. They're cheap, we love our fence pickets. We needed one 48 inch dog-eared picket. It's a little skinnier. It's like three and a half. Oh, it's maybe it's like three and a half feet. I don't no, know. Oh, no, 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 it's 48 inches, so mm -hmm. it's four feet tall, and I think it's three and a half inches wide. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we needed some quarter inch MDF. We needed a hairy spider. <laughs> a motion sensor voice box. We're gonna use some Gorilla Glue, some Brad nails, and of course our country chic paints. And I think we're just gonna keep this in black and white. So I've got simplicity here and licorice here. We'll also be using a Brad nailer, a miter saw, and a circular saw. Step two, we're gonna make our coffin door. We're gonna use four fence pickets. We're gonna attach them together with this 48 inch, three and a half inch picket because we're gonna cut the coffin shape out of it. So it needs to be four pickets wide to start with. We're gonna cut this board in half. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, forgot that I think that we piece. should use the uh -oh. pocket saw to cut this one real quick. Super <laughs> quick, whip it out of my pocket, make my cut, put them back in. <laughs> Safety first, Kim. What I've learned by doing our porch leaners is you want to make sure that bottom is lined up. It doesn't matter if the top isn't quite the same height, but if the bottom is off, it leaned. <laughs> I had to have Gary fix one the other day because it, one picket was shorter than the other and it was leaning. I just trimmed the bottom. Zippity zoo. All right. All right, we're putting two braces on the back. We're just gonna eyeball them. Looks like they're about 21 and a half from the bottom. Where are you? Mm. Just out of curiosity. How dead are you? Oh, I'm at like 20. 20 and a half. So I just wondered Pretty if good. you were. Oh, and then I'm flipping it though. So I'm less than that. I'm glue yours. Yeah. Ooh, you're getting fancy with the swirls. That's just how I do. Okay, so these are hanging over. Does that matter? Nope, we're good. We're gonna nail these with a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. But I'm gonna try to stay away from the edges because we're gonna trim it down here in a second. All right, the, the sides of a coffin taper in. So and we're gonna, gonna taper this, this picket all the way down. This one all the way down to two pickets at the bottom. You'll yeah. see here. So this so, is gonna get trimmed off anyway, is yeah, what you're I'm just saying. gonna try to keep it inside, towards the middle, towards the inside. The middle ones though, I can just go hog wild and kinda tack them anywhere. Hog wild? That's right. That is a little dirty. Yeah, you a dirty one. All right, let's flip it. Ooh, it's so pretty looking. Step three, we're gonna cut the coffin. <laughs> cut the coffin. We're gonna measure 16 inches down from the top. We're gonna mark the outside outer edge of that picket. Then we're gonna cut from that 16 inch mark up to the inside of that same picket and then down to the end to the inside of the bottom of the picket. That's gonna give you that angled give you that, look of that picket, that of that coffin. coffin yes. 
All right, let's do it. I'm actually gonna start from the bottom of the dog ear. Okay. 16 down. Doo -doo. Ooh, I hit right at the brace. I'm gonna use the fifth picket to draw out my lines. Now you want me to hold something? I guess the other one's getting in this. No. Okay. I'm just excited to wear my glasses. How come I have my glasses on so early? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> really I really like that look. something on the board hmm. like seriously how else would that have been like that little drunk drawing Kim little drunk drawing <laughs> drunk drawing <It's> my gin <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just gonna trim it out with our circular saw nice straight cuts little straight cut stand that's what I just named it this is straight cut stand everything's got a name Already. I think I should turn the top off. We're gonna leave it like that. It's fine. Jim says it's fine. I told so him it's fine. It's fine. All right. Look at it. That's cool. Yeah, Look yeah. at that. Step four. Now we're gonna cut the decorative braces that makes it look like we try to nail it shut. Keep yeah. whatever's in there in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll be able to put some words on those braces that are. Trying to keep that monster in there, that beast. Okay. I'm gonna make all the cuts with my pocket saw again. Welcome back. Welcome back, pocket saw. How often do you actually make two appearances? All right, we're just gonna cut 24 inch pieces out of these last two pickets. Now I'm going to take this quarter inch MDF over to the glow forge and we're going to cut out our words. And you don't necessarily have to make these words on the glow forge. You can always paint these by hand or draw them by hand. Or stencil them or but vinyl. We have the option, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> I like the way they pop out. Looks like somebody gave effort into maintaining this beast. <laughs> nice and neat. Step five. Now we paint. We're gonna paint the coffin door a licorice black, and then we're gonna paint these braces that are gonna hold that that beast in there white. Yep. And then we're make, gonna make these words orange or purple or or purple, yeah. purple or orange. Opulence or persimmon. We'll see. Oh. Opulence. Gotta see what I'm feeling. Very opulence. letters in opulence. <laughs> I told him I didn't think he would do it. <laughs> Step six. It's time to assemble it. We're gonna bring it all together with this Gorilla Glue again. It's gonna take a minute to dry, but I'm all out of my good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta glue the, the words onto the boards first. That way it's easier to see if they're lined up and straight. I did make all of the letters touch so that I don't have to yes, place. Yes, isn't this great? So I don't have to place each individual letter. I just scooched everything together, so. I love it, just yeah. Just glue in awesome. a few pieces, not a million pieces. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Coffin door. <laughs> Boom. Oh my God, you know what I love to do? My, one of my favorite things to do all year round. All year yeah, round. Yeah, I know where he's going now. Scare the kids. Yes. I hide and scare the kids every day. <laughs> it is my favorite thing to do. 
<laughs> I will duck behind the counter and pop up, give them a good old boo every day of the year. And then the older they get, the less, the less entertaining it is. Yeah, the 14 year old yesterday was like, he dropped down, she walks in, he drops down behind the island so that he can scare her. Yeah, like but she saw him in a mirror this way. She said, oh no. Where's the, yeah, and he popped out of the scare. It's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> but I like how she played along. All right, let's see where these One go. One of our daughters would just melt. Anytime I would pop up and scare her, she'd just crumple to the ground. Horrible fight or flight reflex. <laughs> yeah, he still did it. So. Yeah, still do it. Still had to do it. All right. What do you think? Like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is too mm -hmm. high. It's gonna you have need to, to stand on a like stool this. over here and yeah. look at it this way. Uh -huh. Give it a good old. Right. This is too high. I bring this down a little bit. Yeah, not quite that far. Just up a wee bit. Yeah, perfect. Dying. Come down. Down. It's too crooked. Too crooked. Yep. All right. And unless you want it all squinched up, let me try it that way. Put weave bin up a little, just a wee bit, and come bring it a little more crooked. Dying is too crooked. Still too crooked. Come down some. Come down some. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like it's missing something down here though, but I feel like that's why there was a fifth one. I kept telling you there was a fifth one. It needs one more. Well, remember, we have accents to play in here. We got accents coming in. All right, will you come take a look? Maybe we want to space them out so that it gives room for the accents. Ooh! <laughs> That's popping. Yeah, I think that is great because we want to leave room for our, our spider. We got a hairy spider, we have a dropping spider, and we have some lights to put up in here. So I think this is a good spacing. Okay. If you lift, I'll just put it under there. All right, we're just going to glue it. No, 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 no. All right. Quick, quick, quick. That's not dry. Oh, you meant lift it vertically. Yes. Yeah, like straight up. All right, now we're gonna tack it with a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. <laughs> In an inconspicuous place. That helps firm that up a little yeah. bit, since it was bad. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> Step seven, and now we have the accents. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> that was, we, we did that like 15 times. Yeah, that, just was, that, that was the best version. <laughs> You're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> it's really just adding the hairy spider, and then we're gonna try to figure out how to add this dropping spider. Kim picked him up on the way home yesterday. Yes, he's motion activated, so I thought it would be fun if we could crawl down the front of this, but I think these little boards are gonna stop him, so we'll have to figure, we'll that, figure out. that out. And then all of a sudden, we're drilling lights. We're drilling little holes for lights. I also picked these up on the way home yesterday, and I said, you know what this thing needs? It needs a bunch of purple lights all up and down it. Now I know a coffin top wouldn't really look like that, but this is supposed to be Please. Friendly scary. Friendly scary. So I kid, want... Kid scary. Kid scary, yeah. So we're gonna add a bunch of purple lights so it glows. I think it'll oh, be fun. What happened to the voice box? And the voice box is right here. And we picked up this voice box that's motion activated on Amazon for like 15 bucks. So we put something scary on there. We'll figure out how to attach that thing too. But first, I'm gonna take out the hairy spider and hit him with some glow-in-the-dark spray paint. You know how I love my glow in the darks. Yes, he absolutely does. Yeah. All right, this just in, we're adding the lights. <laughs> but Kim decided we're gonna outline the coffin with the lights. I'm gonna drill a hole like every inch and a half, and we're gonna plug it with a, plug it with a light. Yeah, I think it's gonna make it really cool to outline the whole thing in lights. I think there's a lot of holes. Yeah.
Kim wants the light to poke through the board, but not the base. And the hole is just a little too small. So we're gonna come in with a countersink bit to widen the back of the board. All right, let's see you how just, that works. Did you just cross your fingers? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's totally gonna work. Holes are all drilled on the outside edges. And now we're gonna poke these little purple lights through the back. I'm gonna leave the plug at the bottom. Oh, good idea, leave the plug at the bottom. <laughs> And then just one at a time, I think we're just going to poke them through. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay. Lesson learned. The spacing we have on our holes is larger than the spacing between each of these lights. I guess I should have checked that. I think it's like, I don't know, these line up. Some of them line up perfectly. Some of them we might have to skip one. No big deal. It doesn't have to be perfect. It does have to be perfect. It doesn't have to Nobody be will ever be scared by shabby. All right, and so we're going to insert it and then add a little dab. Uh, Garrett's going to burn himself by adding a little dab of hot glue in each one um, around the outside edges to make sure it stays in the hole. Around the inside? Around the inside? Yeah, we're not going to put it down in the hole because I don't want it to ooze through the top if we can help it. Oh, I'll put it down in the hole. While Harry's drying outside with his glow-in-the-dark paint that's about six layers thick, we are going to attach this movable spider. He's motion activated and sound activated. We're going to use this popsicle stick that I'm going to hot glue at the top and then we'll hot glue his little ring to the popsicle stick. Then he'll hang over. I think you're going to have to nail it. I don't know. I think the popsicle stick, this one we're not sure about. It'll definitely hold it. Yeah, I think so. But I don't know if the glue is going to hold the popsicle stick. Well, I think that if takes we, a little pressure. We turn it this way and put it in between, then it's got the whole popsicle stick to hold it. Okay, but I agree. I agree. I like so that. We'll do it in between and we'll hold them like that. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Let's see what we got. Well, do you want to make them go to see how much pressure it puts? I'll just hold it with two fingers. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably back there a little bit. All right. Ready? Go ahead. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> that was a lot faster than I thought he'd be. He's slow. He's a slow climber, though. Oh, he's a slow climber. Well, <laughs> I get it. I'd be a slow climber too. All right, I'll hot glue this in. You, yeah, let him finish his thing. Idea. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a little screw. I'm gonna try to put it behind the spider. Yeah. So when he's hanging, yeah, it'll be it'll be right about there. Yeah, that's good. Right. Harry is mostly dry. He looks way cooler now, though. Can you see. Like, like some kind of dungeon spider. Looks less hairy, more dungeon-esque. Where's it going? Uh, at the bottom, I think, to fill up that empty space at the bottom. Is he climbing up or down, or is he s scurrying across? Oh, he's climbing up. He's climbing up, like right here? Right yeah, there. yeah.
what do you guys think? Whoa, I didn't think it was on. I think the, uh, the lights really set it off. It made the nails pop. Yeah, and I love the addition of this little spider here because you can't really see this little thing straight on. Yeah. And it'll drop right down. And it works out fine. It's been going off nonstop in an infinite loop since I brought it out a couple of hours ago. I've already annoyed all of the kids with it. <laughs> all right, we are about out of time. So if you're not joining us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Maybe we should have no. balance it. Ooh. Ah, the spider got, got me. Yes. <laughs>